dimension spacing. Let's go ahead and open up this project file. You can go ahead and find it by browsing to your project files, going to chapter 9, and opening up practice dimensioning. I'll go ahead and cancel this because I already have it open. Alright, so dimension spacing. What is it exactly? Well, let's add a few dimensions so we can find out. I'll go ahead and come here to the annotate panel. I will pull out linear. I'll select the point here and here to dimension and drag it out. I'll hit the space bar and I will actually hit space bar again this time so I can select an object. I'll select this line, pull out, and add a dimension. Now let's go ahead and come up to the annotate tab and in the dimensioning panel we can choose either continue or baseline. Let's go ahead and choose baseline. I will start with this point here and I will continue my dimensioning to that point. And since I'm done, I'll go ahead and right click, hit cancel, and now this time I will choose continue as my point. I don't want to continue from these points over here, so I'm going to right click, choose select, choose this point to continue my dimensioning, and I'll choose a point here, here, maybe this point here, and this last point right there. And I'll go ahead and hit the escape key to exit out. Well, as you can see, we're getting a lot of cluttered dimensions over here and over here. I can go ahead and, as before, maybe select the dimension and drag it out to the side a bit. Select the dimension here and drag it. And another dimension here and drag it to the side. Just so we can make sure we're clear on the dimensions that we are trying to dimension. Well, there's another way that we can do this. Let's go ahead and look at this command right here. Adjust the spacing. I'll go ahead and choose that. Now AutoCAD is asking us to, to select the base dimension. I'm going to choose this dimension here. And now it says to select dimensions to space. I'm going to select this as my second dimension. And once I'm done choosing dimensions, I will press the space bar. And for now, I'll go ahead and choose auto as default. And once I do that, you can see my lines get spaced out a bit. Well, what happens if I do it to this area up here? Let's just try and see. I'll click Adjust Dimensions. I'll go ahead and choose that as my baseline, and I have to select additional dimensions. I will highlight all of these with the crossing window. Press Enter, and I will choose Auto. And AutoCAD went ahead and tried to align all the dimensions for me with proper spacing. Now it may not be too clear how AutoCAD is spacing its dimensions and how it's really helping us. Now these dimensions I kind of dragged out to the side, but if I go ahead and try to put them back to where they were, which is between the lines, snapping maybe around here, hit escape. You can see AutoCAD was trying to line up each dimension so it didn't really interfere with each other. I'm going to pan over to this corner and maybe add some more dimensions from this side so maybe you can get a better look at what's actually occurring I already have a dimension for this part and I'm gonna go ahead and just continue adding dimensions to this circle here we can do that by selecting the continue or we can even choose the baseline let's try the baseline I will right click and choose the select so we can choose a new point I'll pick this point here and I'll just pick some quadrant points here here there and right there. Once I'm done I'll right click and hit cancel and now these dimensions right here you can clearly see that they're all cluttered together so I'll go ahead and use this not that command I'll use this one here the adjust the space zoom in and we need to pick one point for our base dimension so I will choose the 12.6331 as my base dimension after that I need to choose the dimensions I need to space Let's go ahead and make a window crossing. I will choose the additional dimensions that are on top. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and press enter to accept that. And once again, I'll just choose auto for now. And once I do that, now you can see all the dimensions are clearly spaced out and easier to read. Later we'll learn how to break some of these lines and clean them up just a little bit better. And maybe have it so if you had hatching behind it, you can clearly see your, your numbers that you're trying to dimension. But let's try a few more things. I'm going to again go ahead and activate the adjust space command. 
I will pick my base dimension and now I need to just choose my additional dimensions. I'll pick all these right here. I'll go ahead and press enter to accept it and instead of pressing auto I will go ahead and enter a dimension in the command line or a spacing of zero and press enter and AutoCAD lines them all up. Now because I have so many decimal places they continue to overlap but if you wanted to line up your dimensions and you adjusted your dimension style so this didn't occur they would line up nice and perfectly for you. Let's explore that same command over here in this corner. Again adjust the space I will choose the base and I will choose an additional dimension enter to accept and I will use zero and enter and there you go AutoCAD lined them up once again. I'll go ahead and maybe stretch it out which we don't want to do but what I'm looking to do is to actually grab this text and pull it down I hit escape and let's just align them up one more time base dimension additional dimension enter zero enter again and now they're lined up a little bit better now in this design we didn't exactly make sure everything looked perfectly but in our project design where we actually try to dimension a real part we'll clean things up nicely I just want you to see how this command works and various ways to use it 